Hi, and welcome to the fifth episode of Constituent Mailbag, a time during which I try to answer the most commonly asked questions we receive in this office or our district offices, whether they come in via phone call or email or letter. No surprise, the biggest comment that we have received in the last many weeks, if not months, related to President Trump's comments in Helsinki, Finland on July 16th. Those comments bothered me quite a bit uh, for a couple of three reasons, frankly. The first of which is I, I, I think his comments basically denied reality once again that Russia interfered in our elections during the 2016 presidential campaign. Indeed, we have definitive proof that they not only did that there, but they've done it in other countries. Uh, they played in the Brexit campaign. They played in the elections in France and Germany and Mexico. And we now have proof positive that they did do that uh, on a scale that is frankly heretofore a bit unimaginable. And it came in the form of the indictment of 12 uniform Russian intelligence officers that the special counsel's office issued. Uh, frankly, for my dollar, that was some of the most brilliant criminal investigation work ever uh, compiled. To be able to go back and identify these people by name and recreate the paper trail of their activities really was uh, brilliant criminal justice work and criminal investigation work. Uh, I'm, I'm also bothered uh, by his comments because, well, words matter. And the president's words, I think, weakened America's security. And what I mean by that is, for him to stand on foreign soil next to an autocrat of a hostile foreign power and take the side of that country and that autocrat over the unanimous conclusion of our own intelligence community does make us weaker. It also makes us weaker with respect to how he talks about our allies like Canada uh, and, and Britain and other countries when he disrespects them or is harshly critical. I'm for engaging in people on tough issues, and sometimes that means hard-nosed negotiations, even with our friend and allies. But when you do it in the way that he does, it seeks to divide the Western alliance. And let's be real honest about what's going on here. Uh, President Putin is attempting to recreate the glory days of the former Soviet Union, and he's also seeking to divide Western democracies and weaken us, weaken us so he can be stronger. So quite literally, he can be richer as an individual and the oligarchs around him. Uh, in, in, in fact, what we need to do is remember all the benefit that that Western alliance of democracies has brought to the planet over the last 75 years. Uh, in fact, we stand for rule of law. In fact, we stand for free, fair, and open elections and that we need to be united on this. Uh, even as President Putin continues his campaign against those things. So the good question is, well, what should we do about it? Well, we have, we have some legislation proposed that is bipartisan that I think would be very important. It's called the Secure America from Russian Interference Act of 2018. Basically does three things. The first of which it bolsters our election infrastructure to make sure that Russia can no longer penetrate our voter registration databases as they did in 2016, for example. I think that's very important to have happen. It also finally imposes sanctions on more of the political figures and the oligarchs around President Putin, people who are complicit in this activity and this, as it were, cyber war against America. Until they feel it in their pocketbook, I don't think we're gonna change their behavior. And thirdly, it, sinks, it seeks to strengthen the alliances between ourselves and our traditional friends, uh, other Western democracies, to uphold these values, again, the rule of law and free, fair, and open elections. This is what America stands for, and it won't come easy and it won't come free. It's something, in fact, we have to fight for. That's what the legislation would do. So finally, I just wanna thank you again for joining me, not only today, but for those of you who take the time to reach out to our office. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you.